All right, welcome back to AE Toots with Mitch Martinez and Pete Normandia from Pixel Mob. Word up. Word up. So today we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks that you can use for getting some good dolly moves. Seeing is believing. We're going to show you this dolly in action. We're going to show you some shots that were created with it so you can see how smooth this dolly track really is. If somebody tells you that you can't get good shots from a PVC track dolly with skate wheels, tell them they're full of, well, you know what to tell them. All right, so what we're dealing with here is one and a half inch PVC pipe. Simple enough, you can get it at Home Depot, at Lowe's, uh, Sears Hardware, pretty much any hardware store, you're good to go. Um, so that's really low cost. And then we have these connectors. We're gonna go in close to show you how this works. But basically, all you need is three holes to be drilled. Two of them are attaching it with a screw. So you got one there, one there. And then this part, you stick an Allen wrench into this. And what that's gonna do is when you connect it up like this, when you connect it up, it's going to expand out and not allow it to move. So all you need to do is stick your Allen wrench in there and the wood inside expands. So now you pull on it, get a little something there. It's staying together, it's staying in place. And by doing that, you can use pretty much any length that you want to. I was on a set where we had 10 leg sections and we kept on attaching them and attaching them. We had like a 40 or 50 foot run. Straight track with our Super Track Dolly. It worked great. So here we have the connector. It usually comes rubber banded on both sides so it doesn't fall out of place or anything. You would make sure that the holes are drilled in the right place. And actually, this is the part that you uh, put the Allen wrench into so it would actually go there you would drill a hole so that way it can expand. It expands and the piece that you're connecting to and just by attaching that Allen wrench like we did on these ones, you're good to go and you have a nice tight joint and it's seamless. You don't feel the bumps and you can have a nice smooth dolly motion. And we're actually gonna show you some shots of this behind the scenes in action on some live productions that I've worked on. How cool is that? By having your static objects in the foreground, that's really helping you get a feel for the perspective of the room. It moves with it. You see how drastically it's going. Um, you know, I've had directors that have put me in a room with complete darkness, only light on the subject, and they want a dolly move. But the problem with that is, is there's absolutely no frame of reference. There's no perspective. Watch the movie Aviator, and all these planes were dogfighting in the sky. And, you know, he wants to show how fast they're going, how fast they're going, how fast they're going, but it was nothing but clear sky. And it wasn't until he realized, we need these clouds. We need these clouds that are not going anywhere to show exactly how fast we're going. These are one of the fundamental principles that you're gonna see very useful for your dolly shots. Try it out. So as you would expect, the curve track, the inside of the track is going to be smaller than the big side. You get the connectors in them already installed because they make the curve for you. Although it's possible that you might be able to make this yourself, I wouldn't want to be the guy who tries to get this curve perfect. They have machines for it at Long Valley and they do it for a great price. They're connected the same way. They have the connectors right here and you just insert them into the corresponding piece. So the great thing about the curve track is that you can buy as few or as many sections as you want. If you get eight sections, I'm pretty sure that's a 360 degree circle, a full circle. So if you want to do a shot where you're spinning around somebody and they're just like, oh, thank the Lord. And it's all very dramatic. 
you can do that. Um, I've used it for product shots where you start off and you're just kind of coming around and you're... Right? If you want to add production value, this is a great way to do it. Moving your camera makes your images look very professional. So even if you're working with practically no budget, Long Valley Dolly is really helping you make that happen. And that's it for our tutorial today. Check us next time. And in the meantime, if you have any questions about anything you want us to see, you have questions about how do I do this, I don't have the money for it, but I want to make a badass shot, let us know. Post a comment on there, ask us for a tutorial, we'll make it happen. Mm.